Hey everyone, welcome to the online session of Manu Law Classes. My name is Rajesh. I am doing this faculty at Manu Law Classes. In today's session, I am going to teach you five words which have been taken from the recent the Hindi newspaper. So these words are very very important when it comes to solving RCs and solving questions based upon vocab such as synonyms, antonyms, one word substitution. So kindly watch the video till the end and make the note of all the words that you have learned and keep revising. Let's start. The first word in the list is accretion. Accretion means accumulation. So you can see accumulation and accretion can be interchangeably used. The act of increasing by natural growth. कोई चीज़ जो accumulate होते 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 growth हो रही है, right? So collecting, gathering, amassing, culmination. So all the words mean accretion. The use is the gradual accretion of terror. मतलब जो भय का धीरे-धीरे एक layer बन रहा है, over many years left hundred dead and thousands. Wounded, right? Terror, terror is terrorist here in this case. Terrorism, right? The next word in the list is acumen. Acumen means expertise, right? Let's say you have been doing something for five years or ten years, so you are considered to be have that acumen, okay? And this is a noun, so you must know the word family, right? So that you can use it in sentence in a proper way. So acumen is a noun. You cannot use it as a verb. So Attorneys with acumen, right? Attorneys means lawyers. As a lawyer, then he expertise who be here are highly valued and at any law firm. So, जितने भी आप famous lawyer को जानते हो, आप उन्हें इसलिए जानते हो because they have acumen, right? Expertise है उनको. So, astuteness, awareness, acuity, and sharpness. So, the next word in the list is ephemeral. Ephemeral, ephemeral means Something that is transient, जो छड़ भंगूर होते हैं, जो कुछ ही समय में चला जाता है, right? Lasting for a very short time, कोई चीज़ जो कम समय के लिए होता है, कभी-कभी वो ओस की बूंदे आप समझ सकते हो, या आपके खुद के द्वारा नए साल पे लिए हुए वो decisions, ये जो आप resolution लेते हो कि मैं ऐसा करूँगा, वैसा करूँगा, सब आपका ephemeral position में चला जाता है, because it is hard to follow when you make something unrealistic or robotic. So always decide something which is realistic, right? So last thing for a very few time. So transitory means temporary, right? Transient, fleeting, passing. So this all means ephemeral, right? Because of her ephemeral memory, she forgets things all the time. Okay? Next word. In the list is in the last video I discussed the word laconic मतलब जो कम शब्दों में बोले garrulous is a negative word I would say आप किसी को यूँ ही नहीं बोल सकते कि you are garrulous क्योंकि garrulous वो होते हैं जो unnecessary की बातों के ज़्यादा समय waste करते हैं right so laconic कम में बोल दिया गया पर यहाँ पे जो garrulity है garrulous is something overly talkative and chatty mostly about unimportant thing तो कोई व्यक्ति जो बहुत ज़्यादा बातें कर रहा है ऐसे unnecessary trivial matters पे unnecessary चीजों पे he or she can be called as Garrulous, and it's a negative word. So you must know whether the word is negative, positive, or neutral. Because if you are using a negative word to de to denote a positive thing, it will give a bad impact, right? So you should understand the meaning of that word and contextuality at the same time. Synonyms are talkative, valuable, chatty. So garrulous people make great talk show hosts. अब देखो, कभी-कभी कुछ negative habits जो होते हैं, वो कुछ field में बहुत अच्छे होते हैं. जैसे if you are good at making somebody laugh. You can become a stand-up comedian, or uh, if you are good at uh, making jokes or something. So there are ways for everybody. So you can see that garrulous people make great talk show host. जैसे कि जो बड़े-बड़े hosts होते हैं talkative shows के talk shows के, they are very very talkative. वो बहुत बातें करते हैं. उनको बस point मिलना चाहिए, right? So garrulous. And next word is fetter. अब देखो fetter यहाँ पे noun के जैसे इस्तेमाल किया गया है मतलब कोई हाथ खड़ी या कोई बंधन, right? It can also be used as a verb as well, क्योंकि fetter से fettered हो जाता है, unfettered हो जाता है, जैसे कि कोई pet है, आपने उसे fetter करके रखा है, मतलब बांध के रखा हुआ है, अगर वो खुले में घूम रहा है आपके घर में, तो unfettered है, right? Uncush, निरंकुश, I hope you understood. So something that confides, that is fetter. So shackle, manacles, handcuff, हाथ खड़ी, सब कुछ सभी वो पता है ये बात. Irons, leg irons, and chains. So these all are fetter, right? Your fear is the fetter. अब देखो यहाँ पे जरूरी नहीं है कि वो जो चीज़ है fettered है वो physical ही हो. Abstract ideas भी हो सकते हैं. So fear is an abstract idea. Your fear is the fetter preventing you from going after your dreams. So sometimes we are very much afraid and we do not 
want to take this right so that is not matter next is in your in your aap keh sakte ho accustomed to ya in the habit of kisi cheez ki na over the time aadat lag jati hai but in your jo hai wo basically negative uh, cheezon ke liye zyada use kiya jata hai negative cheezon ki agar kisi ko aadat lag gaya to accustomed from one to something especially something unpleasant right hard and tough and seasoned or tamper even the veteran detective ab dekho veteran detective kaun hote hain jo ekdam expert hote hain jinhone jeevan mein bahut kuch dekha hai veteran matlab expert could not inure himself of the sight of the murdered child so aap is sentence ko padh ke anuman laga sakte ho ki wo jo murder tha na that was brutal to wo jo veteran tha wo bhi inure nahi kar sakta inure jo ki hoti usko aadat hai in cheezon ki wo murder roz dekhta hai lekin yahan pe wo bhi nahi dekh paya ab maan lo kisi ka ghar hai जो कि रोड पे है अब रोज गाड़ियां आ जा रही हैं, तो लाइक ही इज इन योर टू इट ही और शी इज इन योर टू इट उसको पता है कि अब शोर शराबा शुरू हो जाएगा तो उसकी आदत हो जाना एंड शोर कौन सा पॉजिटिव वर्ड है राइट सो दैट इज वाइट समथिंग अनप्लेजेंट की अगर किसी को आदत लग गया दैट इज इन योर पेजोरेटिव पेजोरेटिव इज एक्सप्रेसिंग डिसअप्रूवल और बिलिटलिंग द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ समथिंग पहला किसी चीज को डिसअप्रूव कर देना दूसरा बिलिटल करना मतलब उसको छोटा करा देना छोटा बना देना the importance of something right disparaging derogatory matlab apman janak and denigratory usage a uh, pejorative remark usually brings about an angry response from the listener ab jaise si baat hai agar aap kisi ko bura bologe to response mein aap bura hi milega jaisa bolte hain waisa kaatte hain right so this is what pejorative is so pejorative means galat tarike se kisi se kuch bolna right apman janak tarike se tirade tirade matlab ek lamba chauda bhashan jab koi ek chhota sa बच्चा गुस्सा हो जाता है अपने पेरेंट्स से तो कैसे वो आके डिमांड करता है बातें करता है तो दैट इज टाइरेट राइट तो लॉन्ग एंड एंग्री स्पीच तो कोई व्यक्ति जब कोई भाषण देता है जैसे घरों में होता है ना क्यों भाषण दे रहे हो सो दैट इज टाइरेट राइट सो दी एप ट्राइव इन्वेक्टिव पॉलिमिक अटैक दी ड्रंक ड्राइवर डिड नॉट रियलाइज हिस्स टाइरेट अब देखो ये एग्जाम्पल बहुत ही फनी है एंड यू कैन वेरी इजिली गो रिलेट विद दिस तो ड्रंक जब होते हैं ना वो सबकॉन्शियस नहीं होते वो अनकॉन्शियस होते हैं बेसिकली वो कुछ भी बोलते रहते हैं so the drunk driver did not realize his tirade was being captured on a camera in the police officer's car right next word is yoke ye bahut likha hai itna samajhne ki zarurat nahi hai aap agar kabhi bhi do bailon ko dekhe hain jo aapne khet mein dekha hoga unke back pe neck pe kuch rakha hota hai wooden ka jisse wo dono saath chalte hain so that is go so a wooden cross by is that is fastened over the necks of two animals and attached to the plow to the plow and cart they are to pull right so harness collar tackle and tack they are yoke the last word in the list is umbrage umbrage matlab take offense bura lag jana jab aapka koi ghanishth mitra hai maan lo usne apne birthday mein aapko nahi bulaya how would you feel you will feel bad yaar kyun nahi bulaya hai tumhara dost hai right so to take offense to find offensive and i certainly took umbrage so dekho noun hai so isko ek verb chahiye hota hai aap aise nahi bol sakte i umbraged because you did not invite me I I took an umbrage because you did not not invite me. Is the correct sentence. I certainly took umbrage for not being invited to my best friend's wedding. So, I hope you have learned all these words. Make sure you are noting them down and revising. Learning includes revision; otherwise, you will forget. With these words, all the very best. Thank you.